Psychedelics have shown so much promise. Initial trials of psilocybin show it being equally or more effective in treating depression with a much lower risk of overdose or addiction. We desperately need more resources to treat PTSD. Traumatic brain injury and depression. At least one in two PTSD patients cannot tolerate or do not respond adequately to existing treatments. The federal government has had barriers to, to, the, to funding or participating, supporting in any way the study of any Schedule I drug. And that has prevented the U.S. federal government from being able to obtain critical data around these drugs. So, you know, in terms of our goal for this, is that if we are able to engage in clinical study, we can use that information to make further decisions about whether this is something that we can develop further, whether something we can expand upon further. But right now our hands are tied in terms of getting the science that we need to make those decisions.